I would say to you, if you got offered a job, you should definitely take it. Okay. Just going forward. Like, I'm not in the mood to fire anybody. You should start looking for another job. Don't you think? Yeah. You agree? I don't know. I think things run out, and it's been a couple of years, and probably best if they lose them. I feel like Dave treats like a part-time job. His defense has not been great so far. So. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, mean, I don't know what to say. I, I, I've thought about it a lot. I've talked to a lot of people about it. I've thought about it a lot. Like, you know, I think it's probably just time for a change. I used to work with these two guys, and now I work with these two guys going forward. Following Sokka, what did you like? What was the first thing you did follow, like afterwards? That first week that you were really off? Uh, I think I took, besides like calling people looking for work, basically, <laughs> I took time, which I said on the shelf. I said I'd give it a week to kind of. I asked myself, what makes a hit these days? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he had a problem with that. Like that Monday, I think you gave me shit about that too. Why wouldn't you just go live if you want to go live? He thought I should have waited till Wednesday or something? <laughs> what did I say about it? You <laughs> laughed at it, so fuck you! I don't know. Funny. I don't fuck you! <laughs> Mike, how does it feel to be back with Dave? Is, is it I, old I, feelings, I missed, old memories? I, 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 I miss it. Mike. It was nice to hear, it was nice to have him back. Does it, I miss our drives together, we got to spend a lot of time together. That was not, he doesn't miss it that much, it wasn't offered this morning. So. No, I didn't think about it, but I was late. So I didn't, did you, did you Uber here this morning? I did. Yeah, I felt bad, because I was going to text you and say, but I wouldn't have got you for like 50 minutes. You like being here an hour early. I did. Sorry. So. Well, not anymore because they don't get here until like 30 minutes before the show. But. So how much have you actually been keeping up with the show? Uh, a decent amount, I would say. Okay. I, I struggled early on with the watching live versus listening to the podcast. Gotcha. So I would watch live, then get sidetracked, and then try to go back into the, I don't know, it's all fucked. I'm committed to the podcast now. I'm 100% podcast. Wow, you've abandoned yep. your baby. Yep, it's done, <laughs> it's dead. Kill it, you guys might as well kill it now. All right, I'm all in on the podcast, like for the future, dedicating to that, and I think that'll solve my issues of kind of being sporadic. But so if you had any advice to give us, give myself. I think you guys are doing great. I don't think anything, what's the, I don't know. I don't think know. about it. I think you guys are doing a great job. Nothing, nothing crazy. Well, Dave Colonnain is back, ladies and gentlemen. The former producer of the Kirk Minahan Show and the case. My pal, my great friend, my partner for two years yeah. has returned, hat in hand, <laughs> asking for his job back. And if he wants it, he can have it. You politely <laughs> asked. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Did you drive Mike to the studio today? No, no. but I thought about it and he, I he knew. He talked about how much he missed it. But yeah. Really? No, yeah, yeah. I don't know. No, no. I thought about texting him. Do you miss the it. drives with Mike? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, really? That's okay. probably. Those are good times. Top three things I missed. Yeah. What are the other two? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. I hadn't thought of the other two yet. <laughs> I did get my phone bill reimbursement, so we, we have a little extra money to play with. <laughs> we didn't negotiate. I called that. We didn't negotiate. I, called I actually that. came into I, a I few thousand that. dollars recently. That was you holding off until you didn't have a job so you could kind of get money for a month. No, that's absolutely bad. No, I don't think he would have thought that no, far ahead. That's about ridiculous to say. I don't like the eye contact with you right now. Like we used to, we used to, no, not like this. This is you're intimidated. It's actually it's like weirdly pleasant, but I'm uncomfortable. It's like a, I like that you're I'll, looking at me, but I don't like that I'm looking back. I'll say we did an episode. Then fucking uh, put put a fucking mask on. What do you want me to no, say? No, I, I gotta get used to that. Okay, all. I'm a team guy through and through. Always have been. What team? Your team. <laughs> you're part of my team still. I'm, I'll always be part. Of yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> when you came begging to come back, invite me back in here this weekend, I was. <laughs> I said anytime. We just move on. It. Who's we? Me, the hits. I just, you just gotta move on. You just gotta <laughs> keep going. What else? When I say that, Dave, you almost want to start talking? Or Nothing too exciting. <laughs> yeah. Not too exciting. Uh, Police officer is here. There is? Yes. Hello, sir. That's our, that's uh, our, that's our producer. Yeah, officer. Officer. yeah. Can you put him in jail? That's Hi. fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> I want to check that car. It's two officer. <laughs> the heads up. Cuff and stuff this person. Yeah. Wow. That'd be great if it turns out there's like actually bodies in this car. We never see him again. <laughs> Tomorrow, my 50th birthday party, we have uh, Mike Manansky and Ryan Whitney. Steve, my good man. <laughs> Disgust. <laughs> What's up, Colin? What's up? I kind of happy like Kirk it. birthday. Happy Kirk birthday. So we got we decided to go with the producers team today. So I got Big Steve, and originally I was gonna go Big Steve on Russian TV. But then I saw a picture of Steve from the beanbag tournament and just thought it was just too perfect not to do, so. Yeah, that was after the weird ass call yesterday. Yeah, I mean, that's, I'm, I'm still baffled by that call. And then he just tweets out like everything else is going on and he's still breaking stories on the main wire. Oh yeah, I'm always packing, I got my gun, for <laughs> safety's sake. We got some videos, we got a Portnoy video, Big Cat. Um, 
Our producer gifts are out there already. Four delicious packs of Peggy Lawton cookies. We got Whitney Mutton Studio. I'm sure we're gonna get a little uh, trashing for two tweets back to back, but hey, go on, move on from it. I think I have the collars in here, so if he can always call it up if he needs it, but I hope not today. <laughs> it's kind of hard to to fill era two shoes, but I think we'll get there. I gotta go pick up like double coffee, I think, to bring it all home. Today we're playing the hits. Hell. What's going on? What's up, Whit? How's it going? Going great, thanks. Wow, this is uh... <laughs> he said he wanted big. He did say big this year. He definitely didn't come through with big, but I mean, <laughs> you, you did something. 50 years old, huh? Yeah. Jesus Christ, good for him. <laughs> nice of him to say hi. Yeah, What's going on? Nice to meet you, bro. Uh, sorry, wait, what the I fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just walks in, doesn't say hello. Doesn't old. say a word. To a guest. What's going on, buddy? Great to meet you. Gus, how you doing? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, you got him a present too? Yeah, we got some gifts. Yes. A bunch these? of different stuff. Those are his favorite. Yep. Yeah. What's, who gave him this? That's a bicentennial man giant movie poster. Who yeah. wrote him that card? I did. Jeez, your handwriting is horrible. I know, it's so dumb. <laughs> he writes like a seven-year-old girl. Wow. And then, yeah, some of those 50 are... years old. And who gave, and these are from you, Gus? No, this is from uh, Justin. Justin gave some. Wow, you guys are all hooking them up, I guess. Yeah, we got No some... chance Mutt brings him anything. Right? Yeah, no shot. What's up, Mutt? What's up, Yo, what's good, bro? What's, what's good? What's good? What's poppin'? What's poppin', man? Got a new podcast that I stumbled across from 2001. Literally stumbled? Like you were just rolling around and you <laughs> fell on the 2001 podcast? This is I, big because Gus one. wouldn't tell us what this was. This is a tease. Oh, oh he did. This, 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 is, this is big. This is called What's Poppin'? Yeah, Mick broke it first, dude. Did during he? producer search, yeah. Oh, all right, way, never mind. way to keep up. I don't listen. I didn't listen to the mix show. Why do you hate him so much? Today, Coleman? <laughs> I don't, don't. He's just pulling up my old shit when we've already hashed this out on the show. It's oh, is your terrible? What's podding? Yeah, which I've oh, said. Why are you so terrible. defensive? Oh, I'm no. not. What's that? You brought him a gift. I brought him a gift. You bring a gift. You're screwed. Oh well, I didn't bring him shit. <laughs> Come on now. I'm gonna hang my extra uh, flannel up. Why do you have right, Coleman? Why do you have one flannel? flannel? You can have a backup. Of course, that's the only one, dude. What's podding? Happy birthday, Kirk! Happy birthday, Kirk! Holy shit! Happy 50 birthday, years buddy old. Ryan! It's been Happy a while. Birthday. Yep, that's right. Fifth, the next seven hundred plus days, I'll be fifty years old. Why are there? What's going? I, he, says, they, I said the same thing. They said you asked for big. <laughs> you said big. <laughs> I didn't really mean. That. I thought you guys were dressing up today. We are. We are. What are you, Gus? I'm uh, Be Steve Robinson from the Beanbag Tournament. Okay. Steve Robinson, the beanbag turn. Uh, Colin? Colin. Colin, okay. <laughs> What's up? What, what, are, you, what are you dressing up? up as? Like? Wait, no, we're chill, up. chill, okay. chill. <laughs> What's potting? Yeah, What's potting, man? I got you, okay. <laughs> I read Mutt's that class. <laughs> <laughs> How bad was that, huh? Oh, for three. So the cookies are for me. Okay, I don't eat those anymore. <laughs> what? I don't eat these. No, I thought you did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. you don't eat okay. Go ahead. Nice right, job, Gus. So I got a PGA Tour Sega Genesis cartridge for me. I haven't even said it on chicklets. Um, oh, no. We, we are, no, no, we are no. expecting Get another. The, you went for a third? We went oh, for you're a third. out of your fucking mind. Out of my mind. Wow. But my wife's seven years younger, so I thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> One guy goes, no, no, no. Another guy goes, you went for a third. You're going to have a night nurse. We're going to have a night nurse every night. You do it. You need I'm available. Job. I'm available. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we'll talk. Yeah, he'll do it's it. Like a student. Yeah. I can do mustache Whoa, on the day. Coleman's titties. Yeah, right? Coleman's titties. He can just. Uh, <laughs> that's a pretty good I'll gift. I'll play it all the time. Yeah, because he probably went out of his way to get it. You got to go find that somewhere. He probably like sold that Taylor Swift sweatshirt to that's pay true. for it. Yeah, well, yeah, with all the fucking roofie juice on it. Kirk, I've been waiting on a sunny day for this 50th birthday. Like a spirit in the night, I hope it's a great glory day oh, with the Jesus. queen of the supermarket. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Birth? Birth. Happy birthday, Kirk Minihan. <laughs> when I hear the name Kirk Minihan, I think one thing and one thing only, and that is just huge birthday guy. I value our friendship. I value uh, everything you bring to bar school. And happy birthday. I love you. So maybe say it back. I don't know. You don't have to say it back. I do too. You think it. So I love you. Happy birthday, all the best, uh, from what I hope you can call a dear, dear friend. Happy birthday, Kirk. Ah, oh, see, happy birthday, boss. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> you got another cookie to throw? <laughs> Coming live from Jeez. the Kirk Minahan Show. Oh my God, this is horrifying. That is very horrifying. I remember being told as a kid, like if I did this too much, your voice would stay like that. <laughs>
So it worked? What better way to impersonate Big Steve than just read his Twitter? Oh, yeah. Yesterday, someone graffitied his windows with pro-Palestine messages. Just a few weeks ago, there was a rally in Portland where socialists called the Hamas terror attacks morally and legally legitimate, and not a single elected official in Portland condemned it. I need, I need a Dave tweet. Matt Siegel is a legend. Spreading rumors about his future endeavors is shameful. I'm, I'll continue to watch out for his best interests. Play the fucking hits. <laughs> Andrew Augustus, the channel is first and foremost. I fuck my mother. <laughs> Right again. <laughs> Did you swallow it? Swallowed a piece on the bike. Are you kidding me? Right about Mustap.com. Steve? How's it going? Good to, Good see, to you, see you. Welcome back. I'm excited to be a part of uh, KMS 3.0. <laughs> this is nice. The uh, the house that Steve Robinson built. You guys are easily my favorite other producers of Urban <laughs> Show. Yeah, I mean, um, the call the other day, was that you? Um, people were saying it wasn't. What call are you talking about? Is this Steve Robinson? Yeah, this is Steve. I, I, I'm, I fucking hate having to listen to Dave Cullinan on the Kirk Minahan Show. This is an atrocity. What is wrong with you? Like what? the worst <laughs> is thing it? that happened to people of America. Is this actually Steve or no? I think it is. Making fun of me at the Kirk Minahan show in Saco? That was a quick call. Like, Snap. <laughs> <laughs> Four seconds ago. Psychopath. <laughs> this guy fucking sucks. And I've endorsed him for so many jobs. That's true. Oh my God. And then lost or given up. What are you so Fuck triggered off. about? What's Fuck happening? <laughs> that's, that's the weirdest He's called it on Thursday. He's He's on Thursday. Thursday. Do, not, do not hang up on him. I'll say that. You're in on Thursday though, right? I am, yeah. We've got a bit on our hands. How's it feel to be back with Mike? Uh, I love Mike. Feels great to be back with Mike. <laughs> awesome. Are you really like aqua filter or something? It smells like, uh... I just put hands in the shop. I just put hands in the shop. Milton's today, too. Excited? Love Bill. <laughs> Milton, you should always be excited about Milton. Yeah. Every time I drive down here, it's a reminder of how lucky I am to live in Maine, because Massachusetts is a fucking shithole. With so much traffic that it's unbelievable. I, I don't understand how anyone can live here. What a fucking shithole. You said it. <laughs> Gus, you ever been to this one? I have. One time. How'd it go? The best store for men. Uh, uh. Pretty good, actually. I think it went well. Show me the Gus style. You don't want to see the Gus. Come on, the I Gus mean, I collection. I've seen the, the Gus style. Where's it at? I'm. I try to be simplistic when I'm not being outrageous. <laughs> oh, there we go. Coleman. There you go. This is you, Cole. <laughs> the this Coleman, Coleman collection, right baby. Look at this. There's a Coleman collection on. I like this. Looks cozy. It's the Kirk style. Uh, yeah, I'm a hard one because I am like, I am governed by comfort. So Milton, like, this is a Milton shirt. Like a time of it's so beautiful. Go, thank you, Coleman. That's beautiful. How many kids do you have? Just like, yeah, the section. <laughs> what? All your kids. You know? <laughs> How happy is when that happens? He <laughs> lights right up. <laughs> How down are you on Mike right now, Justin? Oh, uh, we, we patched things up. Oh, you, you, you drove him over? You might, have, you might have put the blame on someone else. Uh, some mistake. I said you. I said you told me to go with Steve. I know you're around. Over there's the suits where I got. I've got a million suits. I'll get it for the next live show and. Pour on like another one. Do you think Mutt's loading up on, on the free stuff right now? Mutt, Mutt is loaded. Oh, there he is over there. Keep his bald head is shining against the light. <laughs> who was it, Mike? Was it Justin who cleaned up that one time here? Uh, it was no, before the it's not usually Justin. Who was it? Will. No, it Will. It who? Oh, it was Harrison. That's right. Well, that was a good payoff. That worked out for him. That was a good investment. So. What would Colnane be like in here? <laughs> what was Colnane? Colnane was... It was just. Yeah, Colin asked, like, can I have this shirt? That's his thing. Right. But he wasn't, but he wasn't like a big, like, he wouldn't take like six things. No, but he'd be like, I want this shirt. Right, right, right. 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 Jesus. Yeah. That's true. Gus, you get any? Yeah, I'm looking for it. Okay. It's oh, tough. great. There's all I got options yet. Okay. Well, guess what? <laughs> oh. 36 small. Big Jack Colonnade rocking this. 
Instead of the shirtless, doing his chores and that. Come on, Dave, let's go. It almost looks like a Joker. Like. It really does. I can see him wearing that. Or Dave wearing that, quite frankly. This goes kind of hard. How are you? You can match my uh, blue jean jacket <laughs> that everyone shits on. You're really gonna find me digging for the 2X in the pile. That sucks. When in doubt, you gotta go Peter Millar. Good one two combo. Nice collar, nice color. Milton's very comfortable, easy shopping experience. Best store, hands down. Steve, what you got? See the fit? Got this nice little North Face jacket. There you go. I like it. Stylish, chic. Don't want to pull a Dino, I think I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, you're going in? Trying all along? Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, that is big for you. It's not Dino, but. <laughs> Dave made that joke at least five times when we went with the pelts. Play the hits. Are you me? Yeah. Oh, you're such a big part of the Dino years. Jesus, Mom. I know. Stop bringing them places. <laughs> I'm not going with all of them. I want to try them. Yeah, great jam. I don't know how I feel. What do you think? Doesn't look bad. Spin. Shows off something. Uh, well, that's going back. <laughs> this best. The best. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take off. See you, buddy. See you, Steve. See you, buddy. Good to see you, Steve. Of course, it's mutt. <laughs> it's tackled. It's <laughs> 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 Should have seen him on the way out. He's just stuffing shit. In the <laughs> Gus, what'd you end up with? Oh, well, you saw the top. The Stop going to the top. <laughs> I'm sorry, you saw the top shirt. It's not loud. It's cute, you got a very sexy top. <laughs> the greatest place there is. Literally the greatest. No show has had a better advertiser ever than Milton's Cross. Since, literally since the first show. For me, I've talked about this. Like the old show with EI and then even my podcast by myself. Even when I was in like the abyss, they were like, I was talking to these guys and they said, wherever you wind up. And the fans truly are like, I'd be grateful and it shows. It's the best. And even like registered sex offender. <laughs> right, Justin? Right, Justin? That's right. Yep. All right, boys. See you tomorrow. See you. See you. Uh, Any idea Thanks, Sunday or Monday? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll let you know. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say, say Simon. Oh, Gus. They're so forgiving for having someone crawl on their knees. And they still treat me with the great dignity and respect I could hope well, for. I wanted the bag. I wanted to show the oh. bag. God damn it. Oh, so I didn't know that. <laughs> here we go. Are watching from here the... Here we go. Hey, miss. Look, here he is. Hey, Jack. Hey, making another shitty video. Hey. So what are you guys bitching about now? And I'm not kidding. I tweeted out this morning. I want people to unsubscribe from me. Because all, all this idiot men are said for weeks and weeks and weeks, he didn't support the network, he shits on the shows, da 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 da. He shits all over Tron, who's part of the show, so he's shitting on the main show. So I'm just asking for consistency here. Let's bail out. I offered to go on and do a car wash like I did a couple of years ago. I am rescinding that offer. Oh man. I will not be doing that. I won't be doing it. So what I would say is, you know, apologize to me uh, for your inconsistency. I'm not offended. It's not going to ruin my career. You, you should apologize for being inconsistent. You know, you apologize for the inconsistency, and that will allow you to continue to have this wretched network. If you don't apologize for the inconsistency, it's gone. And people will wind up behind your back, including people on screen right now who said they'll take over. I'm not surprised. Yeah. And if I apologize for the inconsistency, going forward, there can be no more watch alongs or anything like that. It's just. Oh, no, you can, do, you can do that. I don't care about that. I don't no, give a no, fuck. No, 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 we, I don't care. Andy, Wendy? I'm sorry for the inconsistency. Okay, you're fired. <laughs> I, mean, I, can't, I can't do it. I can't have a pussy around the network. I can't do it. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. What do you got? I'm here. So, uh, what do you think about the reunion no one asked for today? Joe the pizza guy and Josh. Joe, I know. It's, I, I actually love it. I re-listened to, um, I re-listened to him on Menners mm -hmm. when he got kicked out. Yeah. He seemed very pissed off Josh was here as well. It could be definitely interesting. It's also Pat Ford Day. It's awesome. Chills. Intern coffees. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the Kirk Minahan show where the interns by the you. Thank you, sir. I us bacon, egg, and cheeses. Oh. Are you excited for Joe being back, your, I your am boy. I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> he cracked the top ten list for me. Pizza Good Joe. Good to be a top ten minute fan too, right here. Appreciate that <laughs> yes, on the list. Sir. A little upset I was behind his uncle in the top ten, but it's oh, okay. It's not a big deal. Sorry, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, you made the list. You cracked the list. You didn't sushi tonight or what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. What's up, Pat? How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. What did you think the other day of uh, Kirk saying you're a good drip? <laughs> 
Oh, that was that was life changing. I didn't. I thought it was a positive, right? My mom texted me and was like, "I don't think no, it was a good zero. Oh, okay. She's like, "I don't think you're a zero. I was like, "You don't understand how great that was. <laughs> um, but I'll take it. I like the the fit. Fit looks crazy. Thank you. Drip goes insane. <laughs> Thanks, appreciate it. Drip king. That's yeah. a whole day with Gus tomorrow. It's a whole day with Coleman tomorrow. We're excited. We're, so all right. So you're gonna be there. You're gonna. What's the plan, Gus? What's your What's your game? I want to hear your game plan. Okay. The plan's gonna be to go in. We the have plan is, your plan is to go into the Comic Con. Yeah, yep, we're gonna go into Comic Con. So far, I'd say it's a good plan. How are you getting there? By car? By car. Okay. With the vlog you, you and the, the camera. You have the gas on while you're driving the car. Uh, oh, starting the key first. Okay. You, you, make, do you actually have a key start? Or? Yes, we do. Okay. It's it's old school. I know. So your plan for Comic Con first is to go into Comic Con. Yes. Okay. So we are here at Comic-Con, Rhode Island, came up this morning. We're gonna have some fun today, talk with some people, uh, mix it up a bit. Without further ado, let's get to it. Mr. Mando, happy Comic-Con. Hey, happy Comic-Con. Did you come alone? Yes, I did. Okay. I'm meeting friends, though. No Lady Mando. No, no Mando. Lady Mando. That's sad. No Baby Yoda? Baby Any Baby Yodas dog. in the future? Well, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. all right. You know, a lot of the guys out here have been hyping up the, the Comic-Con ladies. I think we should let everyone have their own space and okay, not touch true. anyone that doesn't want to be touched. Hey, that's a know? good rule. This is the way. What do you think he's dressed as? What am I dressed as? No, what am I dressed as? Because oh he thinks God. I'm just too lazy to actually do it. Uh, that yeah. guy that interviews people? What? <laughs> it's over for one already. Your top four 90s rom-coms. The Breakfast Club, that other one. Um, I like that other one. <laughs> See, making lists is not easy. No, it's not. It, it, I, no, trust it not me. Oh, trust me, I know. Favorite. I'm gonna give you a hypothetical. Two finisher moves. You know finisher moves in like fighting yeah. games? All right, so Trung Fu Fist. You go like this, you back up. And you almost bowl into it. Boner jungle, you're, you're just getting attacked all over. It's, it's a boner jungle out there. I'm, I'm taking the one hit. I'm not getting all. So you're taking the Trung Fu Fist? I'm taking the, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm nice and quick. So fan of Trung. Yeah. So we have the Riddler here. Great costume, great fit, by the way. Thank you. Do you have any riddles for us today? What's more useful when broken? What's more useful when broken? Well, my intern here, Gus, would, is, is a great example of that. Producer, whatever. <laughs> Titles, he gets picky about that. This is the way more legit Star-Lord. Uh, he has music, he I has music. a nice cleaner fit. He's got the headphones going. Yeah, what, on topic, 50 bucks. What's on your mixtape? If you're going off into space, what are you taking with you? All three soundtracks, that's it. Uh, just, just the soundtracks? Maybe I touch myself with the divinals. Do you touch yourself? No, absolutely, <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Good guy, good guy. See, it's not that weird. Yep. <laughs> How many have you guys come the first time, second time? How many times have you been here? Oh, oh, I thought we were still talking about uh, touching. No. no, 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 not, not yet. <laughs> I got mine in the bottom of the barrel party city that was completely wiped out after Halloween. It Don't looks, go shopping on November 1st. It looks like a party city. You who look you, like a party who city. Who are you supposed to be? I'm you. I'm <laughs> us. I'm us. <laughs> You're me and I'm you? Yes. You look more the part. I got this going on. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. yeah. You, almost got, you almost got like a Star Lord Peter Griffin going on. I kind of like it. Oh, I don't like the Peter Griffin part. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah, I know you had me until that. Oh, come on. Oh, man. No, Peter Griffin's great. Yeah, he's funny. I think I'm more worried about the physical aspects. Oh, no. I, I just think you could crack a good one. I, do you have an impression? Do you have any uh, impression? I, I do, like but I don't want to prove it now. I look, Not like Peter. I look like an impression guy. What is that? I don't know. I feel like you got good impressions on you. you I, give us a little taste of anything. Your best one. Hey, uh, Peter. That's it. That's all I got. Hey, Peter. Oh, that's pretty good. Hey, cool. listen. Are we the same person? I, I think we are. <laughs> So how long did this take uh, to put together? Is this homemade? Uh, all of it's homemade. Um, the tentacles are made out of PVC. The props are made out of um, XPS foam board. Uh, the paint job alone on the tentacles took me about 16 hours. How do you go to the bathroom? How much of a process? Uh, the tentacles aren't so much hard to get on and off. It's the onesie that I basically have to disrobe to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I have no clue what you are, but you look amazing. Who are you? Thank you. I'm Common Rider Punk Jack. Healthy debate. Would you rather? You, you like fighting games, right? Yes, I play a lot of King of Fighters, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom, Tekken. Yes. Okay, so we, we're having a little debate. There's yes. these two finisher moves. Which one would you not want to go against? Uh, you know, I'm trying to imagine what the boner one is. In so the boner jungle, basically, you just got to go through a whole jungle and it's just boner after boner after boner coming at you, taking you out hit by hit. The trunk one is you're kind of back, almost in like a bowling motion. You come up, boom, right there. Which one do you not want to get attacked by? Uh, I, 
I feel like the bowling one would do more damage to me, but with the boner forest, I couldn't kind of dodge it, maybe? Found the lovely Vanessa Rabbit, right? It's Vanessa Rabbit. Vanessa Rabbit. Rabbit. Is it Vanessa? Jessica 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 you are Rabbit. an idiot. Yeah, hey, you know what? I'm a big fan. All right, Jessica Rabbit, my bad, my apologies. Arguably the hottest animated character of all time. Would you I say would agree. So? I would agree. Who do you think is the hottest male character of all time? Hottest cartoon male character of all time? My husband, Roger, of course. Well, I mean, listen, he's a great looking rabbit, I can't deny, but there's not any other guys out there that, you, that you're debating, you're, you're thinking about? I, I've always sort of had a, a long standing love for a Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's the hockey mask, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Are you looking for love at Comic Con? No, I'm happily married to a rabbit named Roger. So we've already talked with another Riddler today. Do you have a new riddle for us? A new riddle? Yeah, we bombed the last one horribly. All right, all right. Riddle me this. Okay, I'll riddle. What is my favorite medicine? Favorite medicine? Um, I don't know. I hear Allegra D recently gets you pretty messed up, but... Uh, <laughs> Riddlin. Oh, there you go. That's his name. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you found me. Top five cartoons on TV right now. Go. I'm always going to be loyal to The Simpsons. Bob's Burgers, of course. Um, and then, you know, I like I like some, some of the anime. How many is that? That's three. Uh, See, you, lists aren't easy. People actually end up together from Comic-Con. Well, I met my husband. Okay. He runs it. And What's I he met, wearing today? He is another vampire with me. Nice. And Dude. we actually had another couple come up to us yesterday, and they invited us to their wedding. No way. Yeah, we have several people come up and tell me they've already been engaged or they're getting married. So it's actually pretty successful. So we're playing Game of Ham, I guess it's called? Yeah. All the pink cards you're holding in your hands has a little... That's backwards. Good job. So all the cards have little flavor text at the bottom of each card, so in case you have absolutely no clue what's going on. So what's your name? Carl. Carl? Yeah. What is Carl best known for? Any other pink cards in your hand could be your answer. I'm going to okay. help you out here. Face down. Help you out. Face, Face down. down. I'm Coleman. Coleman. What's yeah. Coleman known for? I won't look. I won't peek. What is Carl best known for? I started. A monster condom for a Magnum Dom. I got you. Magnums you. only, right? Alright. That's my guy. That's my guy. Your turn. Okay. Telling strangers in the bathroom to stop masturbating. Jesus Christ. Actually, that, that is it's on brand. Too bad. <laughs> you it was worse. For You're not necessarily a creep. You're just like, yo, know, stop that shit. That's basically a game of fan. We add a whole board game component to it as well. That allows you to fuck with your friends if you want me to. Okay. If you wanted to. Yeah. Oh, all friends. right. So, how long have you been doing this? 20 years. What would you say is like the most awkward thing that's happened during, just maybe not even today, just like in general throughout during a massage that's happened? I've had stalkers. Anything that goes on with in those four walls of the office are not supposed to leave the office. It's kind of like a psychiatrist or a doctor, you know? Oh, yeah. Husbands come in and, you know, having affairs on their wife and vice versa and all kinds of things they'll tell me. I can't, I work on their, their significant other too and I can't say anything because I'm like... Oh, it's like you're a hairstylist getting all the gossip during the massage. And that happens when, you know, when you get someone on your table and you got them relaxed and calm, they're gonna tell you things they won't tell anybody else. If we're gonna go all therapy session, I'm still dealing with the fact that my dad told me that I wasn't planned. Well, he actually told two strangers at a bar. Oh my gosh. And I, and I just, and I was next to him, so I overheard it. Oh no. So that's pretty bad. How did that make you feel? I mean, I always knew I was the problem child. Yeah. So, I guess it makes sense. You doing better with that now? No, not really. Jonathan Tuma. I work at Head to Heels, Medical Massage Integrative Body Work in Mystic, Connecticut. Oh, Mystic, Connecticut. Yep. I love Mystic. Mystic Country, Connecticut. Great place. Taxes are a bit high, but yeah. otherwise, yeah, it's a very nice place. I have a good practice there. Oh, yeah. It's like, go. Hey. Right, hop on, guys. Come along for the ride. Let's go. Where are we going? I don't know where we're going. I'd follow these guys anywhere, I'm not gonna lie. Steve Robinson's a big fan of these guys. Do you guys do a conga at all anytime? Are you guys doing uh, geek speed dating later? I learned about this today, geek speed dating. I'll no. debating to do that, honestly. I was thinking about it. You should maybe get out there. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of success stories about geek speed dating. What are, you looking, what are you looking for in a fellow geek? In a fellow geek, you gotta have something of the similarity with us here. Well, Just a little bit. Well, like if you're also the accepting of new geek stuff. You gotta it's enjoy true. everything. If you don't like something and someone else likes something, you gotta understand and you gotta- Show up to the geek dating and you're not an actual geek. That's, that's the one. <laughs> well, let's be honest. Yeah, you know, I, I, just a little, 
I just thought yeah, I was just in the background. I was just going to start doing this. Yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> boob guy. Straight boob guy. Slave girl Leia. Oh, yeah. So it, all time. All time. All right. All right. Jessica Rabbit. Okay. Or... Kaylee Gunner. You don't know Kaylee Gunner? Oh, brother, let me hook you up. This is the lovely Kaylee Gunner. Okay. Uh, now, Slave Girl Leia and Jessica Rabbit still I, on I the table. I still, yeah, I'm, I think I'm still picking. I, I, don't I think I'm gonna go Kaylee. He's no, a Kaylee Gunner guy. She can though, change my mind. I'll go Kaylee Gunner. Brothers, stay strong on your mission. Thank you. Stay, stay strong. strong. No, not for you. Okay. <laughs> Who do you think's the bigger Star Wars fan? Okay. Picture number one. We got Jess with Mark Hamill. Picture number two, Joda. Justin as, as Joda. We call him Joda. Jeff or Joda? It Joda? takes a lot to cover your yeah. whole self in body paint. That shows dedication, perseverance, integrity. I'm going to picture number one, Mark Hamill. I mean, it's just kind Jeff? of... Jeff? Yeah, okay, I got Jeff. one for Jeff. I'm going to say Joda. Joda? We got Joda? And we got Jeff. Who's the bigger Star Wars fan? I'm going to say Jeff. Jeff gets it. The Hulkster is a living legend. How can you not be the Hulkster? Old man Savage, my good buddy, sometimes my enemy, but in a way. we got Ric Flair here. Woo! What do you think your best filming performance has been? In the ring or in the bedroom? Oh, oh, oh. Hulk, Hulkster's not going to answer that because Hulkster just got married and Hulkster really likes his wife right now. So uh, oh, yeah. I think it's obvious which one Jeff is. Justin, a.k.a. Joda. Interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff? Yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a sweep. Sorry, Joda. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. Sorry, jo jo whatever Joda. Jonah, sorry, dude. Sorry, brother. Oh, well, you don't know. Oh, sissy, yeah. hey. sissy slaughter. Oh, come on. Just all you can. As hard okay. as you can. Okay. That's a good ring. You get a phone call, one of those prank phone calls or someone talking too long on the phone. Would you hit him with an Avada Kedavra to get rid of him? Unfortunately, it doesn't work over the phone. Oh, that's true. I've heard that as well. You know, just doing Voldemort things, menacing children. Okay, okay. Shout out to Justin. What are your thoughts on Hermione? I'd hit. speed dating a little nervous first date you know first multiple dates do I have some certain characters in mind that I would like to be set up with yes I, I think uh, Hermione would be amazing but I'm excited I'm, I'm looking for love today I'm hoping to find my perfect match my player two if you will this is an actual Bob's burger could you tell I look like Bob or no uh, not completely you're kind of hiding it all right Coleman how'd it go it's phenomenal cleaned up in there uh, there was about seven guys, six girls. I may have pulled the perfect sweep. That's Brandy Love. All right. And that's Kaylee Gunn. Okay. I'm thinking Kaylee. Kaylee for the win. New versus old. Good awesome. man. Thanks so Great much. Man.